Hello YouTube, this is going to be my last and final video for my 2000 Toyota 4Runner Sport, 4 wheel drive, 5 speed manual. Basically the point of this video today is I'm going to show you things to keep an eye out for when you're test driving a car. And uh, I've test driven hundreds and hundreds of cars and uh, learned a lot, found out many different things uh, just by testing good cars and bad cars. So I wanted like to give you some pointers here and uh, basically first thing when you start the car just keep an eye on the gauges you know the temperature gauge the rpm the miles per hour even the gas gauge um sometimes the gas gauges can be broken you know if the rpms are going up and down like that it could be an idle control issue even um so you're also going to want to put your hand on the steering wheel and you want to feel how much feedback you're getting from the motor idling um if it's idling rough you're gonna feel a lot of vibration in the steering wheel. Like my truck right now, I feel nearly no vibration whatsoever. So it's idling great. Um, however, I do have a check engine light on my truck, which is not really an issue right now, uh, cause I'm about to get that fixed soon. So, uh, but you know, if you're buying a car and you see a check engine light, you're gonna wanna have that checked out uh, diagnostically with an OBT, OBD2, um, if you have one or know somebody that can do it for you. Um, because that's of concern when you're spending thousands of dollars on a car. All right, so, um, you know, this is a manual, obviously, so you want to make sure that, you know, you push in the clutch and you feel each gear individually. Just put the, put it into each gear and even put it into reverse. Let's see here. Whoops. Sometimes you have to do that with the Toyota transmissions there. All right, and... Um, so the next thing we'll do is we're gonna go give it a drive and we'll keep an eye on the gauges on the on the dashboard. Keep a keep an eye out for um, you know anything that doesn't look like look right when you're driving on the on the gauges, um, as well as sounds and the feel of the car itself, um, especially in the transmission itself. If the transmission here, you put your hand on it and it seems like it's vibrating a lot, really rough. There could be an issue going on somewhere down there in the transmission. Uh, these are all things to look out for. So we'll go ahead and get started. Here we go. Alrighty. And you'll want to make sure you turn the car both directions, go both ways in the car. Um, you know, because when you're steering and all that stuff, you can hear other sounds that might be going on um, that that might be issues um, like worn out bushings or, or even bearings um, that you could hear in the wheel wells of your car when you turn it all the way. So you need to be able to uh, test that when you're driving it. Um, so another thing, when I'm when I'm going, I'm keeping an eye on, on the gauges uh, because I want it to be consistent with the way that I'm shifting the car. So I don't want the RPMs lagging or any of that sort of stuff. When I'm in third gear, I don't want to see it. You know, I don't want to see the RPMs. You know, I'm up at 30, 30 miles an hour and the RPMs are down at like 1000. That would not be right. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna give it some gas and I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. All right, so you want to take it up to at least like 60 miles an hour. Uh, I didn't have too much space here. By giving it gas like that, we can actually get a feel for the transmission itself. For, a mo for the motor and if it's running strong enough as it should be um, as well as the certain noises and things that don't sound right from the car so you get a lot of feedback from the car if you know what to listen for and uh, know how to read it so the next thing I would do here is I'm gonna give it I'm gonna test the brakes because you want to take this thing up to like 30 miles an hour at least and slam on the brakes I feel like I got three arms one on the stick shift and the steering wheel and for the phone. All right. So I'm going to take it up here to just about 30 and then I am going to hit the brakes. 
All right, and it stops solidly, really solidly. Just keep listening to sounds on the car, uh, just anything when you're shifting. You want to take this on a good run. You want to test drive the car for at least 15 minutes because it will give you a really good idea of what's going on. Sometimes people get excited, test drive it really quick, and you're missing stuff. You're missing stuff. Um, remember, also when you're when you're doing these sorts of things, you're giving yourself the ability to negotiate on the deal. So that is. I mean that should be key to you especially when you're spending lots of money um, and you of course want to make sure that you're getting a good car and all that stuff. Yeah that will be it for this one. So until next time folks, take care.